Hi, welcome to another Access Laser Tech Talk. I'm Ben Fisher, and we're here in our demo lab today talking about the modes of operation when you purchase one of our products. There's three different modes that you can operate these lasers in. The first is called continuous wave, and that means you're applying an RF excitation to the laser body nonstop. The next is pulse width modulation. Now this can be done with a fixed pulse repetition frequency, but a variable duty cycle using our RF4 and this knob, or the LC3 controller, where you use this one. If you need a higher level of control and manipulation for your pulses, then an external supply can provide that signal through a TTL gate, either on the front of the RF4 or on the back of our LC3. Let's look at what that would produce. The electrical signal is shown here in yellow. And you can see that this has a modulation where it's on and off 50% of the time. That's going to correlate to the optical signal down here in blue. And that shows us that we have a rise time until we reach our peak output, followed by a fall time once that signal turns off. Depending on what you need, Super Pulse might be an accessory of interest. This allows for higher peak powers and shorter pulse widths that give you a true discrete pulse train. This can be done simply through the LC3 controller of changing from CW to pulse after making the appropriate adjustment of your DC power supply. And there you have it. That's the different modes of operations for Access Laser products. We hope that we can support you in your next application, and we look forward to talking, either through our phone or website.